Hi, I'm Alistair, Managing Director at 32 Degrees Building. Today I'm out here in Orangeville in Sydney South West to talk to you about building a dwelling or an extension in a flame zone area. First, let's start with the subfloor. When you've got a brick subfloor, it's important we have no gaps or holes in it anywhere. But as you can see, we must have ventilation. And when you have ventilation, like we've done here, we've covered it with a wire mesh. And with this wire mesh, the holes in it can be no further than two millimetres apart. The next requirement for a flame zone is your cladding and your windows. Your cladding must be a minimum of 16 mm in thickness with no gaps or anything in between the boards. The, the product we use here is a cement based product, so it's good for flame zone material. The next part is your windows. The glass in your windows must be a minimum of 6 mm thick. Unlike a normal window, which is generally 3 or 4 mm thick, it has to be at least 6 mm thick. Along with that, we must apply shutters, which can either be manual or automatic. These are the big two requirements for flame zone area. And as you can see, above on the roof, a steel frame has been erected. Um, a steel frame must be put up like this, and because there's no gaps or anything between the, the ceiling and the roof, so no embers are able to get up in there. That's the requirements for a flame zone area. The next part of the job is the decking. As you can see, it looks like a timber-based product, but it's actually a cement-based product. The requirements for the flame zone is that you must have no gaps in between your decking boards, as you can see here. The decking boards must be compacted tightly together. Also, underneath on the subfloor, it must be a steel frame. If you have a look underneath, we've used a box span product, which enables all steel to stop the embers catching the light or getting through the decking. There's also a couple of other requirements that we need to adhere to in a flame zone area which we can't see today. One of them is the roof. When you construct with a metal roof, we must make sure that we put a 16mm plywood back in underneath the tin to slow the fire down or to stop the embers getting through. The other requirement is also your eave sheeting. When installing eaves, we must make sure that we use a fire check plaster board, which is generally about 16mm thick, on the underside of our eave sheeting to again slow the fire down and stop it getting in. We must also make sure that all gaps and holes are, are filled with the correct sealant, again to stop the embers coming in. That's what's required for a flame zone area. If you'd like more information, please contact us on 4647 2324 or visit our website at www32degreesbuilding.com.au. Thank you for your time today.